regale me about a YouTube command line tool that is called the YouTube DL. And before we begin, I'd like you to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. So YouTube DL is a command line program that you can use to download videos from youtube.com and other similar sites. And it was created using Python, so you'll require the Python interpreter version 2.6, 2.7 or 3.2 and later and it is not platform specific so it should work on your unix box your linux machine on windows or on mac os and it was released in the public domain which means you can modify it redistribute it or use it however you like so youtube dl allows you to download videos from youtube and a few other similar sites such as dailymotion facebook google video and many more and Recently, YouTube DL added video download support for a few other websites, about 20 of them, and some of them are brightcorp.com, Instagram, there is archive.org, Trailer Addict, and many more. So if you want to see the full list of the websites which are supported, you can visit my website, which will be linked in the description. And this tool allows you to choose which video quality you wish to download from those which are available, but if you don't specify, it will do automatically download for you the highest quality video from the site you're in. So it also supports the specific playlist downloads, as well as options to add a custom title or to leave the original titles for your downloaded video files. And it also has proxy support. So to install YouTube DL on your system, there are about three ways you can do that. And the first one is installing it from a third party repository, the second one is using curl and the third one is using wget. So I'll start by showing you how to download and install the latest version from the web update PPA. So all you need to do is copy and paste this command. It will be available on my website which will be linked in the description. So I'll just copy this command. Control C and then I'll paste it in my terminal using Control Shift V. And then you can run it and it will add the repository. And then after that, you'll, up you'll update your system using sudo apt get update. And then you it will update all the repositories in your system. And then after that, we'll just do a sudo apt get install. YouTube DL, YouTube dash DL, and then you hit enter and it will install it for you. And then, if you do not wish to add any third party repositories, you can install it directly using the curl or wget command. So you can copy the curl command directly from my website, which will be linked in my description. So you do control C, and then you'll paste it in your terminal using control. Shift V, and after that, you'll we'll run it. But this one did not work for me, so I used wget. So, if the curl command doesn't work for you, you can always use the wget command soon. You'll copy it again, I'll copy, and then I'll paste it into my terminal using Control Shift V. Then you hit enter and it will start installing. So after it has finished downloading the script, you can set executable permissions using the following command. So you'll use a sudo schmod a plus rx and then the path where it is located. So I'll copy it again from my website. So that I don't make any errors, and you can also do the same. So I just grab this command from my website, copy the control C, and then I'll paste it in my terminal using control shift V. Then you hit enter, and if it is executed successfully, it should bring a blank line. So After that, I'll show you how to install it on Fedora or Red Hat or CentOS. So you can basically go through the same steps if you want to install it directly. 
but if you want to install it from a repository you, you need to enable the ePL repository in your system and if you don't know how to do that I'll leave a, a link in the description to a guide that will show you how to install it from your ePL repository so after that you can install it using the YAM package manager using YAM install YouTube.dl and then you can also go to my website and if you want to install directly use the curl or wget command which must be enabled so that they can be able to fetch the latest version of YouTube.dl yeah and then after fetching the file you can set execute permission just as I've done for Ubuntu and you can run it so to update YouTube.dl all you need to do is We'll write YouTube dash DL then dash capital U then you hit enter yeah and then it shows that YouTube DL is up to date 2029 6 whatever that means and then after that I'll show you how to use the YouTube DL to download videos so to download videos from YouTube or any of the supported sites you run this command so you'll write youtube-dl and then the url of the video that you want to download so i'll head over to my youtube page and i'll grab my shortest video which is the linux kernel it's only three minutes you copy the link and then i'll go back to my terminal and then i'll type in youtube dash dl and then you'll paste the link for the video that you want to download so you paste it using ctrl shift v then you hit enter and it will start downloading so as you can see it is showing me downloading web page and then it will start downloading you can see the progress yeah so that is done so I'll clear my screen and then to list all the available formats of the video you can use the list formats option with the YouTube DL command and this is how you use it so you just write YouTube dash DL and then dash dash list dash formats and then you copy the the link of the video that you want to download so i'll use ctrl shift v to copy my link and then when i hit enter it will display me the formats that are available for the video that i want to download yeah so as you can see there are different formats there's the WebM, there's M4A, there's MP4. So, for example, if you'd like to download this particular video in the MP4 format, the video format code will be. So, you can see here on the sides, these are the video format codes. There's 243, there's 133, there's 244 for the web m format and then there is 134 for the mp4 format then there is also another mp4 with the 135 so to differentiate them there are those which you can download with audio only there is video only as you can see here here it shows you there is video only for the mp4 with 133 and it won't have audio and then here for the the last option here there is 22 which is the video code which is mp4 format and it has both audio and video and as you can see in brackets it shows that it is the best so to download with a specific format if i want the mp4 with both with both video and audio i'll use the dash f option so all i need to do I'll clear this so for mp4 it is the format code is 22 so all I need to do is I'll write YouTube dash DL dash F and then 22 and then I'll paste in the link again for it to download in that specific format 
so you hit enter and it should start downloading it for you in the specific format so as you can see here the title is the one that is also in my video the original title but you can also customize that if you want and put your own title yeah so that is done so if you wish to download a list of videos at once you can create a text file and place on the youtube links of the videos that you wish to download so for example i can create a text file called youtube vid links and i'll use the command below to download them so you just write youtube dash dl and then you use option a and then the name of your text file so my text file is called youtube vidlinks.txt and then when you run that command it will begin downloading all those videos that are contained in your text file so if you wish to see other options that can be used with the youtube dl all you need to do is type in youtube dash dl and then help and you hit enter and it will display for you all those options that are available and you can play around with this tool however you want yeah so these are all the available options that are there you can embed thumbnails choose audio quality formats you can enable to factor authentication can there are also subtitle options so when it comes to configuration you can configure it to the l by placing in supported command line options to a configuration file so on linux and mac os the system wide configuration file is located at etc youtube lcom file and the user wide configuration file you can also locate it within the same folders and an important thing to note is that by default the configuration file may not exist so you may need to create it yourself so and the options in configuration file are just the same options or switches which are used in regular command line calls so there must be no white space after any of the dashes so for example they have written dash lists formats there is no white space between those dashes so and you can use so you can use dash dash ignore dash config if you want to disable the configuration file or a particular youtube dl run yeah so that is all for today's video and for more information about this command line tool you can visit their github page which i'll link in the description below and if you encounter any issues with the youtube dl tool feel free to leave a comment down below and i'll get back to you yeah thanks so much for watching this video if you enjoyed it please give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel and share it with your friends and i hope to see you guys in the next one